<laughs> but I'll tell you what, right? Straight, not as much. I, here's the thing, I don't even know whether I want to feel sorry for this person. Did you hear about this um, bird who went on a fucking Tinder date? Did you hear about this? Right, this is mental, mate. Okay, so, a girl goes on a Tinder date, right? And this, is, this isn't fake news. I was convinced it's got to be a hoax. This even made it to the BBC a few days ago. Right? So this uh, this this bird goes on a, a Tinder date. She's at Nando's in Bristol, right? She went home to a date's house and they were gonna, you know, Netflix and chill, right? Jet. So anyway, no, 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 no. So here's the thing, right? She got up and I, have you ever had a Nando's? You've had a Nando's, yeah. right? You know, you know what I mean. You ain't right. If you have a Nando's, you're not holding that in for the rest of the night, like. Be honest here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just not a food to eat on a first date, in my opinion. Like, you, uh, you know, I, I'm honestly going to be slinging dick after this and just pull a flat in. <laughs> I mean, you know, one time, you know, I've, I've had similar mishaps with, with curry, extra hot Indian curry. You know, you get up in the middle of the night and you're just shitting like a newborn baby. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not going to. Yeah, like, you're not, you're not, you're not going to get it all and then you climb back into bed. With her on those nice pristine white sheets, <laughs> you you got some splaining to do. Come the morning, feel it. Uh, so, we go back now, <laughs> mate, it, it, it's nothing you can do. Like it's just literally like you just got to strap a diaper on. Like, you know, you, if you're trying to impress, uh, if you're trying to impress a girl by having like a fucking fall or something, like yeah, eat hot curries all the time. Love it. You know, heard the mate. Who does up to impress girls? <laughs> <laughs> a friend. Look at this spicy as fuck, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Who's your, this Who's your spice spice? Spice? <laughs> Middle of the night, you've got the fucking I mean, bubble beats going, going on. It's not that spicy, but it's, I need some milk. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you just get up in the middle of the night and you are just fucking absolutely just full fucking, you know what I mean, dumb and dumber level. Yeah. It's fucking unreal, isn't it? So anyway. So, and Nando's bad choice of food is what I'm saying. So she went, she had a Nando's. She's Netflixing and chilling or about to. So she just, yeah, she's gonna fucking, you know, get rid of him. Yeah, it's time. She's straight, she's straight turtling, you know what I mean? Like, so she goes to the toilet and uh, it's a fucking absolute grip. Like, it, it just comes out like, you know what I mean? It's the chord shit. Like a baby's so, forearm. Yeah, it's just massive, right? Um, so his toilet's a bit crap, and it w it will not flush away this monster oh. turd. It just is going nowhere, and it, it's too big. <laughs> it's too big to be feminine, right? So she panics, right? And she reaches into oh. the pan. <laughs> oh, legit. Oh. She, re she reaches into the pan and she goes to throw it out the window. <laughs> right? But I, I don't know, mate. This is what I'm saying. If you think men are, are mentally ill, obviously women are as well, right? But here's the worst part. So she goes to fucking throw this shit out the window. But it's one of them, like, windows that open oh, like that. she didn't even line it up. She just went for the fucking three-point there through the no, window. No, it is. It, it got stuck in, like, a gap. Oh. Right? So, anyway, oh. she's like, fucking hell, I can't just leave a shit in the gap. <laughs> <laughs> On the window. I've you know. already come this far. I'm yeah, already yeah. throwing shit. I might as well yeah. retrieve it. No, here's the mad thing. Wait till I read you a, a quote. It's like, they're just too bonkers, mate. Anyway. So she fucking, she knows she can't leave the shit there because eventually someone's going to see it, probably him, probably later in the night, right? So she tries to climb out the window to get the shit. But the problem with that is she, she fucking has to lean all the way out and then, dink, she gets stuck in the window upside down. So she she's bobbing for shit, like... Yeah, yeah, bobbing for turns, like... So it is, it is the thing though. Um, obviously, he, he's like, fucking hell, what's going on here? That Nando's rector, like, fan board. <laughs> yeah. Having a fucking knock on the door, and she's like, I'm stuck in a window. <laughs> I'm just trying to run away. Hey, uh, she's like, have you seen my T Rex? She's, she's, 
<laughs> she's stuck upside down out the window and she can't get out so they call the fire brigade <laughs> Right. How oh, you can't need the fire brigade if you can't get someone out of a window? She's wedged right. upside down in the window. Like Throw her out the bed. Oh. She's not on top floor. Right. Dude. So where you go? Look, I'll, I'll, I'll just read it. Here, Mitch, there's, uh, I think there's a picture of it. Yeah, look. Have a, have a, go on the. Uh, Why the is there a picture of her upside? <laughs> Mad, bruh. bruh. Right. So anyway, let me. Um... She's so bruh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess! Yeah, yeah, look how deep look at that. she went. Nah, Whoa, she... That's Hang what on, I'm so saying. Where but... was the turd on the windowsill? Yeah, yeah, it's I falling down like that. Right? Oh, there's a there's two windows. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's right, in so... between the windows. Yeah. Oh, oh, so she's like, st oh, I get it. Like, yeah. Fucking, so... What's that film? Is it? Uh, 28 hours or something, the guy we want to cut his arm off. And yeah, but, but, but instead of being trapped by a rock, yeah, she's a trapped shit. in a window. And instead of a compass oh. and a phone keeping company, all she's got is a giant herd, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's Mate, mad, it? If I was on a Tinder date, right, and I came into my toilet and she was like, yeah, I was like, I'm gonna phone the fucking police, man. Because yeah. you're obviously mentally ill. Get the fuck out of my household. You're paying I, for that window. Just check this out, right? Oh. Uh, being an amateur gymnast, this is according to the guy who she was on a date with. Being an amateur gymnast, she was convinced she could reach into the window and pull the poo out. You the tried and tested. An amateur didn't... gymnast? Yeah, you're not a fucking amateur shit school, man. What do you mean? Okay. Yeah, this is a job for me. So being an amateur gymnast, she was convinced that she could reach into the window and pull the poo out using the tried and tested inside out bag as a glove technique. I mean, turns out that's a thing. Unfortunately, she couldn't reach. She climbed further in and had the same problem. Eventually, I agreed to give her a boost up and into the window. She climbed in head first after her own turd, reached deep into the window, bagged it up and passed it out over the top and back into the toilet from whence it came. So, there you have it. So she just got... It's like just the fucking worst Tinder date of all time, basically. So... Oh, and they've got to replace the window. So they, they had yeah. a GoFundMe. They had a GoFundMe. They had a GoFundMe. Which is why I was mega cynical. Mate, the best part of that is you didn't mention... He came in before yeah. she was stuck, and she was yeah, just like, yeah, "What are yeah. you doing?" Yeah, I, I, I just gotta get someone out. Yeah. <laughs> out the window. What is it? A turd. I, I don't think shit. It's so mad. Though. If you're it's... willing to tell the person that you need to give me a boost to pick up a turd, why don't you just leave a shit in the toilet? But say, yeah, totally she, right. she even did an AMA on fucking Reddit, bro. Like, so she just, she's reached celebrity, um, off the back of, like, basically yeah, being a... a shit-throwing fucking... Yeah, <laughs> a shit-throwing, like, yeah, a shit-thrower, basically, so... Come in my house and throw shit, but never come in again. Yeah, so, so there was that. And while we're just talking about freaks and fucking all of these, right, have a look at this cunt, what a beaut. I couldn't believe it, man, absolute pure beaut. Again, thought this must be fake. It's definitely not. Head. Face, mate. No, no, I know, I'm but like, it's just, yeah. mate, he looks like a deformed Trent Reznor, you know what I mean? From fucking Nine Inch Nails, actually. <laughs> so this is a guy called Michael Visagano, who was arrested, he was first arrested in 91 after sexually abusing and killing chicken. Yeah, yeah, so basically what he does is he just molests guinea fowl, dogs and chickens. Right. I know, and I've done it. What, so, it's, it is. it's smaller than chicken. <laughs> it's, yeah. So, it's a is that like so, ferrets or something? Yeah, no, 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 no. It's like, yeah, look, I'll show you. They're just tiny little birds. Guinea fowl. Yeah. You know, it's even going for the smallest of birds. Even yeah, they're, they're, the they're, they're pretty tiny. Birds. Here you go, look. <clears throat> Here's a guinea fowl, mate. That's what a guinea fowl looks like. Do you know what I mean? I was imagining but, some sort of fucking nah, they're, they're, cow they're, guinea pig ass <laughs> cross. Nah, they're pretty birds, like. Oh, right. Yeah, they're Why pretty is birds. Why is them? Uh, mate, <laughs> <laughs> you say it as if, like, <laughs> no, but not to the chicken. No, obviously it's all unreasonable as fuck, but why that yeah, yeah. specific bird, like? 
I, I, I don't know, mate. Well, just first of all, I think we can glean a lot by just looking at him. Yeah, his head's obviously gone. Like, his box is just gone. <laughs> He's gone. So here you go, like, just look at some of this. I'll, I'll read you his rap sheet, mate. Well, but hang on, no, no. First, I'll tell you why I'm telling you this story. He's um he's asking if a judge will let him out because he's like 46 now. Oh, he's I'm over. No, he says, but if you chemically castrate me, I'll be all right. Ooh. So he's having the old to stop him fucking all these sexy chickens. He wants to get. But he was chemical. also murdering them, but he can still kill them, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but he killed them afterwards. Oh, so he won't do that. Like, he's not a. Yeah. Person. He'll only kill them if he gets the fuck them first. Just listen to this madness, right? He was arrested twice in 91 after he was found in a chicken coop surrounded by dead birds. Like a fox. Like a retarded fox. He said it, his second arrest came for breaking a rooster's neck. And after he was, No, 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 mate. Calm down. Gets better. He, he was, his second arrest came for breaking... <laughs> Why is your old face yelling? Why is this what I was wrong? Why is You are charged with the offense of breaking a rooster's neck. Death! <laughs> oh, the hurricane's coming in. Oh no. There is like someone having a drill though. Anyway, um, no, oh. I just think about doing it like Steven Seagal or something like, <laughs> like that, you know? <laughs> anyway, right, so... She comes it, up from water, jumps up behind in a scuba suit. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm the cook. So... No, no, massively, massively, right? But anyway, like, so... His second arrest came for breaking a rooster's <laughs> neck. After he was found in the neighbor's goose pen, <laughs> attempting to molest the bird. Yeah, yeah. He pleaded it... guilty. To... This was a fucking you... misdemeanor. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not, it's not really illegal. Well, it, I don't know, is it illegal to kill animals? It, it definitely is. What? Well, it can't, right? If I buy a chicken right now and then I oh, grow nice. in and then eat it, I can't. Mate, if I come round to your house and punch oh, your no, chicken. That's unre oh, yeah, that's unreasonable. You can't eat other people's 100%. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he paid. He, got, he, only, a loop ball, he only um he only paid a five hundred dollar fine for that. Then get this, like this is just mad. In '93, he was found guilty of breaking into a bar. He stole a Rottweiler. Couldn't sard his nails, obviously. How would you steal a fucking Rottweiler? How would you do that? They're fucking massive. They've got an head. Twice as big as mine. You know what I mean? Yeah, look at the wrong button. Yeah, so we fucking <laughs> the deep <laughs> one. Uh, like Brock Lesnar head. Yeah, isn't it? Full Lesnar head. But they fucking he stole a Rottweiler and then just killed it by breaking oh, its so... neck as well. He oh, just oh, he's a a neck. some sort of kung fu master, but <laughs> bad, it? hitting pressure points and snapping necks. Yeah. He's living a fucking kung fu movie, but he thinks yeah. he's killing chickens like Kill Bill. He's Kurt Eichenwald. <laughs> <laughs> You know, just mental, innit? Um, so, yeah, he fucking he did that. And then he did two years in prison for that. And then during the trial, he said he'd rather live with animals than with people. Well, yeah, I'm not surprised you fucking yeah. kill them all. Yeah, he will fucking, <laughs> the animals fucking wouldn't. kill himself until the end of time, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Um, and then he gets out. And then one month after he's out, he t tried to kidnap a German chef. <laughs> The dog, not a boy. <laughs> it's just, uh, he's, look, mate, scroll down and just look at him, like, look at the picture of him in, in his after. Come on, someone have a word. Mate, I thought Pablo Picasso was dead. <laughs> oh, nice to see he's had a face from the band, though. I'm glad to see you accepted it. Hey, he's, he's, come on, hey, he, that, that can't be fixed, can it? I he can't. lost his eye in a fucking Rottweiler fight, I think. <laughs> That's a fake one he put in. Last yeah. one he tried to steal. Yeah, he was he was sound until then. So, uh, so yeah, uh, basically now what he's saying is... Oh, yeah, and it is, it is the thing. Um, 
in, t in 2002, I think this was his most recent thing, he was arrested, he served four years in prison for this because he stole a chicken, plucked it, and had sex with it in a motel room, then killed it. So, so four years for that. And then he got 33 months in 2009 for downloading bestiality pornography. And then, so his lawyer said he causes no risk of harm whatsoever to the human oh, right. community. Come on, mate. Other than stealing my fucking dog and slitting his throat for his creepy fantasies. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. why does my dog have to die for this gun? Yeah. Like, fuck that, come on. <laughs> like, I know. Some people just can't be helped, can they? I'm not saying put someone in prison for fucking life because you want to fuck chickens but maybe you do it for this guy you know what i mean he can't be helped can he he's had how many chances you just keep stealing and fucking things like you can't keep being allowed to do it can he? I, I think i think the worst thing is uh that the top comment underneath is he must be barking mad <laughs> hey. or definitely henpecked at home so so there you go. Uh, so there's that. Right, hang on. What else have we got here? I, I don't know why bestiality keeps coming up in the show, by the way. Uh, I do want to say that's fucking it's a bit a bit ridiculous. I suppose we can do this as well, right? Yeah, I've talked about Newcastle. You ever been to Sunderland? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it is fucking hell on earth. It, it's an absolute shithole. I've got some family who live over there. Me uncle and me cousins. And, uh... Don't get me wrong, they, they deserve to live there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they are scum, like, there's just no getting away from it. But fucking hell, Sunderland, man. It's rough. Um, so, hey, look, have a, have a butcher's life. I, I saw this headline when I was just looking through all the news, right? Sunderland. <laughs> it's too retarded, this place. Sunderland preacher vows to end the city's plague of rats. <laughs> <laughs> what rat is he talking about? Though? Uh, well, yeah, this is the thing, isn't it? He's not just talking about Sunderland supporters, you know what I mean? But like, here's, here's the thing with this, Mother, like, it's an train. like it, does he work for the Sunderland <laughs> Tourist Board? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, come to Sunderland, we've got rats. Like, <laughs> no, but here's the thing, like, they do this thing in the UK, right, called uh, the City of Culture. You seen this, UK City of Culture. Right, what they do is they give out uh, an award. How many every few years it is? And um, yeah, so I think it started in 2013, and it's like every four years. So it's like a shit world cup, you know. And they basically say, "Here's a city," and they typically pick out cities. This is the thing that's, that's retarded about it. They pick out cities a lot of the time that definitely haven't contributed much to British culture at all. Like, Norwich was on the shortlist one. Oh. Yeah, inbreeding. <laughs> <laughs> that's just a joke, friends from Norwich. I love Alan Partridge, calm down. Yeah, you know what I mean? But like, that was there. Swansea was one. You know, maybe. But, yeah. No, but here's the thing. So in 2017, it was Hull. It was fucking, fucking Hull. Next year, Slough. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean, man? Again, the only thing that Hull gave to the UK is fucking anal sex is a contraceptive. <laughs> you know what I mean? The old fucking Colchester condom. Yeah. Seven job, like. yeah. Just... What the fuck is Hull done for? Have you ever been to Hull? Like, it's, it's fucking rough. It's, 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 it's not good. So, how's that city culture? So, anyway, Sunderland is in the mix. It's the saddest bunch, like, right? Swansea on a short list. Sunderland, Stoke, and Coventry. Literally none of them are there. Yeah, and yeah. Like, come on, boys. Like, so, it's almost as if it's like. Listen, we, we're deliberately picking the shitholes. <laughs> they need this, you know? It's like an incentive to get your fucking act together. Fix your city. So this preacher, and you're back to this fucking preacher. He wants to get rid of Sunderland's rat problem. And again, it, it blows my mind that we're talking about a British city 
That basically their solution to being overrun with rats is God. <laughs> God will fix it. Like, I don't think so, preach. So here you go. Like, I'll, I'll just read you this, right? He's uh, Father uh, Lydon Smith uh, has even taken to the streets where he's from <laughs> to record evidence of the city's rat problem and other pest-related issues. A Sunderland Rats and Rodents page has been set up on Facebook. Go join that shit now. I bet that's a thing. I bet that's fucking lit, bro. I'm going there. Let's have a look. <laughs> right, what was it? S Sunderland Rats and Rodents. Rats and Rodents. Let's have a look, mate. Uh, what the fuck? Might have shut it down now, mate. Too many fucking outsiders. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Might have got a bit too big. Like, that can't be true. First thing I got was something in the Sunderland Echo about a fraudster released a pet rat at uh, a restaurant to get a free meal on Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh, wait, I think I'm caught it, but... Oh, yeah. look, look, look at this cheeky cunt. Yeah, what's it? Yeah, there you go. What's it? Oh, nice. Let's have a look. How, how many people are on board? We've got 321 to join the cause. Let's get in that look. Check out his post there. Sunderland has a major problem with rats and seagulls. <laughs> Why is he fake with other seagulls? What are you going to do? Kill them? How can you compare rats to seagulls, by the way? Oh, they are fucking rats. Like, uh, no, me. 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 I seagulls are all right. What would you, you? You're like that cunt with the bong eye. What you choking? I don't give a fuck. Well, that's the bird that deserves to die. Stay off the guinea fawn. Not foul. Listen, I fixed the problem. <laughs> I don't know what guinea <laughs> fawn is. You know, I fixed the fucking problem. I fixed the fucking problem. You don't chemically castrate that cunt in America. You hire him and you send him to Sunderland. Fuck and he all the rats just, to death. Yeah, yeah, he'll just fucking wreck all the rats and seagulls, won't he? He'll love it. He'll be in his fucking element. Yeah, he'll be living the dream. I'm the fucking weaver. You know what he I mean? gets like, to bum rats. We don't have yeah. to deal with the rats. We're all living well, the dream. I might do it. I might do it. Oh, yeah, let's get him no, out of jail. Listen, listen, I might post it on the Facebook page. Saying, hey, I might do that now. Let's have a look. And I jo I've joined the group. Oh, it's a, I've got to wait and get an invite. What I'll do is, right, I'll do it in time for the next show. I'll make the suggestion to it's Father Mark Lyden Smith. You know, hear me out. I'll make the suggestion to fucking Mark Lyden Smith about whether or not you can get in touch with this guy and see if they could do a deal. Like, it, like an exchange student. I mean, look at that as well, right? Keep in mind, I, I don't know about you, right? But, like, I'm pretty sure, doesn't it say somewhere in the Bible about, you know, God created everything? Yeah, even the rats. Yeah, and then the banner for the Super Rats and Rodents Facebook page is just some cunt smashing a rat to death with a hammer. And it's not even a vicious rat. Look at him, he's like, he's got a piece of cheese. Yeah, he's like, got his hand it. up. He's like, please, I come in peace. Yeah, yeah, All right, rats. man. Rats. <laughs> rats. <laughs> Smashed to death. Get the scoop squad out. So anyway, um, he's calling on the council to do more. Although civic chiefs have said the number of rodent sightings have almost halved in the last year, so he might just be making it up, making a name for himself. Because he's been he's gonna say, mate. He he said there's been a dramatic increase in the number of rats around the church. One night, I counted nine in just ten minutes. How do you know if it's the same rat? Stop eating or not? Three. Sorry. What's delicious soft French cheese got to do with it? You leave us some in there. They love yeah. a brie. What are you talking about? <laughs> you are right. I'm just saying it could be the priest's fault. <laughs>